Hi, this is Rick Pedley, and welcome back to PK Safety Supply. Today our question is, so what are UV rays? There are three different types of ultraviolet radiation that are emitted from the sun. The three types of UV radiation, UVA, UVB, and UVC, differ in their ranges of wavelengths. The distance between two high points in a wave is known as the wavelength. Ultraviolet radiation consists of light particles that travel in a wave-like fashion. UVC radiation has the shortest wavelength and therefore the highest amount of energy. This is the most harmful type of UV ray. Thankfully, our ozone currently blocks out all of the UVC rays. However, with the thinning of our ozone due to global warming, more and more UVC rays will enter our atmosphere making them a greater concern in the future. UVA and UVB are not as efficiently filtered out by the ozone layer. UVB rays have, a, have shorter wavelengths than UVA rays and longer than UVC rays. This means that UVB rays have a higher energy than UVA rays and are therefore more carcinogenic. These rays affect the outer layer of skin and are responsible for sunburns and tans. This is what most sunscreens try to block. UVB rays are the most intense between the hours of 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. UVA rays have the longest wavelength and can penetrate the body beyond the skin. Although UVA rays can cause cancer less frequently, they are also the main cause of melanoma, the most deadly form of skin cancer. Melanoma constitutes only 4% of skin cancers but it causes 80% of the deaths. UVA rays are coming down at the same intensity no matter what time of day or time of year it is. They are present during summer and winter and can penetrate clouds and windows. 90% of UVA and UVB rays can penetrate through clouds and fog. So even if it is not sunny out, you are still susceptible to sunburns and skin damage. 40% of UV, UV rays penetrate water. UV rays are reflected off of grass, sand, cement, water, and asphalt, and many other surfaces, intensifying the amount of UV rays pointed at us at any given moment. Individuals that do not burn easily and do not use sunscreen are still at risk for the damaging effects of the sun. Even if you do not get a sunburn, UVA rays are still penetrating your skin and silently damaging your cells. Each of these UV rays can damage DNA skin cells. Altered genetic material can cause mutations in the cell. This is how exposure to ultraviolet radiation can lead to cancer. There are three types of cancer caused by UVB and UVA rays. Basal cell carcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma are caused primarily by UVB radiation and account for more than 90% of all skin cancers in the United States. The third type, melanoma, is the rarest skin cancer, but it is also the one that kills the most people. Melanoma cases have doubled since 1970, making protection from UVA rays absolutely necessary. With misleading sunscreen labels and no safety standard or scale for UVA protection, how do you know which sunscreens protect against UVA rays? There are several ingredients that can protect you from UVA rays, each with pluses and minuses for their use. There are two types of ways to block UVA and UVB rays. Ingredients that absorb the UV rays before they reach the skin are called chemical barriers. Ingredients that reflect the UV rays before they can get to your skin are called physical barriers. Oxybenzone, or benzophenone, acts as a chemical barrier between you and the sun. It absorbs most of the UVA spectrum and UVB spectrum, offering maximum protection. However, oxybenzone does have some drawbacks. It gets absorbed by the skin and into your body. This can ha have negative effects, but it is not nearly as dangerous as UVA and UVB rays. Avobenzone is another chemical, similar chemical barrier that absorbs the entire UVA spectrum. This ingredient 
is also absorbed by the skin and into the body, but again, it is not as harmful as UVA rays. This ingredient, however, breaks down in the sun, so it must be reapplied often to offer lasting protection. Mexoral is a chemical barrier that was recently approved by the FDA to protect against UVA rays. This ingredient looks promising at the moment, but has not been thoroughly tested for its long-term effects on health. The current research has found that the skin only minimally absorbs it. Lab tests have shown proof that it is a mutagen. Physical barriers to UVA rays are metal oxides, like zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. These used to leave a thick white film on top of your skin, as it is their opaque nature that allows UV rays to be reflected. More sophisticated technology has allowed for metal oxides to be micronized, which allows these products to leave less of a residue than they used to. This still, still leads to potential problems. Metal oxides are usually still affect skin tone and color, making skin appear lighter. With tans being more and more popular, people are less likely to wear and reapply sunscreens that contain these ingredients. What good is a sunscreen if people won't put it on? Also, the effects of the newer micronized metal oxides on health have not been tested. Micronizing might prove to be toxic. Although all of these ingredients protect against UVA rays, they all have potential side effects. So, why bother wearing sunscreen at all? Studies show that non-sunscreen users have a much higher risk of melanoma than individuals that do use sunscreen. Even with the drawbacks of each ingredient, it's better to use them than leave yourself vulnerable to UV rays. So the trick is finding a sunscreen that you will actually wear. Each sunscreen has a unique feel on your skin, texture, and smell. Finding a combination that is appealing, or at least not offensive to you, is the trick in finding the right sunscreen. Sunex sunscreen is one brand that responsibly and reliably protects against UVA and UVB rays. Stay tuned for another video where we'll show you exactly why we recommend SunX sunscreen. Please visit us at pksafety.com. Thank you.